And a bipartisan bill aims to take a bite out of online crime. Recently signed into law by governor, the House Bill 1099 is designed to give more security to Coloradans shopping on the internet. Cora Dickey talked one-on-one -on -one with the bill's sponsor for a breakdown of what's to come. Retail crime is on the rise in Colorado that people steal or counterfeit products from stores to sell online as their own. Representative Dylan Roberts sponsored the HB 22 1099 bill to stop online fraud at the source. If these people who steal don't have a place to sell their goods, they don't have as strong of an incentive to steal in the first place. There is a threshold where online marketplaces are obligated to verify seller information. When they have uh, sellers on their platform who sell over $5,000 worth of materials uh, or of items or over 200 individual items. Buyers are also allowed to report suspicious activity. The requirements fall on the online marketplaces, not the individuals themselves. And uh, that's why we think this is a really good balance for protecting businesses, protecting those who sell their goods online, and making sure that we're cracking down on the people who are selling stolen items. This bill is made to serve physical products, not services. We're talking about people who go to Home Depot and steal um, 10 power drills that, are, that cost $500 each, or go to Target and steal deal um, thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. Roberts bill to address retail crime and theft passed almost unanimously in the House Business Affairs and Labor Committee. Multiple agencies support this bill because it is meant to prevent crime activity, not increase law enforcement. It, that is good for businesses, it's good for consumers, and it's good for public safety in Colorado, and that's why we had broad support on this bill from the law enforcement community, from the attorney general, from the business community, and from consumer advocates. Governor Polis officially signed it into law March 17th. The bill is scheduled to go into effect January 1st of next year. Between now and then, you know, uh, online marketplaces are going to have the time to set up the processes for complying with the new law, and then it will kick in on January 1st. Reporting first on Western Slope, Cora Dickey, KREX5 News.